is I dust those usually with garlic and um, basil and oregano. I would prefer fresh, but you can go dry. And uh, arabiata pepper. It's orange to dark brown. And you crumble it up in your fingers and, and just dust it over the top of your food. Now what it does is heat you up, not real bad, not like having an arrow. Heat you up a little bit. And it's a good pepper for people that are scared of pepper because it disappears in about 20 minutes. I didn't know that, and I like that. I was actually, uh, when I made the fajitas earlier, I had a serrano and banana peppers. So I cut them up. I was taking a bite of them. And I looked at Gina and I said, hey, you're not going to like this. But I was looking at the uh, the taste and how long the uh, hot, you know, the heat lasted. I liked it personally, but uh, to mix that with the onions, the bell peppers, uh, for the fajitas, I go, well, it may not work for you. So if, if that's the case, I'll leave it out of the menu. And I just cook it up in olive oil and salted it and stuff like that with pepper and all that. And, uh, you know, peppers are a trick. You know, when you're putting in the Mexican food, it, you know, you know it's, it's, it's an open gamut when you're cooking as far as taste. And you got to be careful. Uh, too hot uh, pushes people away. The right amount of heat at the right amount of time, like you're saying, it disappears. It's perfect. So, yeah, I learned it on them. I learned it myself by using it. I said that's interesting, and I very. I haven't talked to anybody who uses arabiata peppers. This came from a guy that does cooking, and I'm gonna try to get some more. But I'm glad I remember the name. The um, but there was something else in cooking process I want to mention. Darn it! I hate it when I get sidetracked. I'm forgetting these days. Um, but anyway, we were on the subject of peppers. Oh, yeah. Oh, by the way, I agree entirely. You don't make food past two alarms. Um, this five alarm chili thing is for, uh, people with the smoke coming off their scalp, you know, and you only get so many of them. But the more typical hotter is a three. I don't know what scale, how your scale works. I go from one to five, and five, you got to call the fire department. Yeah. Um, T-E-Y-N, W-B-6, W-C-O, there is a rating on heat as far as uh, peppers and stuff like that, you know, habaneros and stuff like that. There's definitely a rating, but... Um, Scoville. I incorporate it in the food that people will eat. Most Americans are not used to heat uh, a little bit. And there's some people that, uh, uh, there's some folks out there that want more heat. Um, that's, that's something you got to be careful, but you want that taste. And there's nothing, and don't, don't get me wrong, there's nothing. Like when I, 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 I cut that serrano pepper earlier and put it in my mouth, I made mean, raw serrano. How hot it was, I just thought, wow, and then I, I had a, a, a deviled egg, Gina made deviled eggs earlier, and I ate the peppers, I go, my God, what a, what a taste, and it took, so, so probably it went down as far as the heat, I love the taste of it, it had the great flavor, so you got to be careful with those things, so much fun. WB6WCO, this is K2YN. Ted, yeah. Um, absolutely. No, I don't put in excessive heat. That they can add later is never a problem. Two drops of Dave's Insanity Sauce will uh, change your mind. But, uh, or a ghost pepper. <laughs> don't offer that. Yeah, unless they sign a release. Anyway, um, now, you, you bring it to them with a bouquet of flavors, including, yeah, try that arabiata. It spices it up air, and then it disappears. So, my 
Well, I didn't like onions because it raw because uh, the flavor carries with it the next day. I like that. <laughs> you brush your teeth, she says, and you still, it's in your stomach, I guess. So, each person's different. I tried to cook with everyone in mind a meal for 10 people, and it's almost impossible when these folks are all over 55 years old. Over? Yeah, it could be that, you know, and I make my own homemade 
spaghetti sauces. 